What is that? Water, the water, the water, the rain, the water, the water. What do we need to do for the water? Water. We have water. <laughs> This is a sad, empty playground wall, and it kind of looks like a prison yard. But this is that same playground wall, all happy and full of life after I painted it, and here's how it all happened. We're in Texas at Austin Peace Academy, and our goal is to paint each of these panels surrounding the playground area with a different animal theme on each section. We have creative freedom to pick any animals we want and paint them however we want. So let's get started. Why are you wearing an umbrella? You don't even have nice clothes on. I want to Marley stole my fucking umbrella. This is my umbrella. I told you we should keep an extra. If my white gets all messed up, blame her. This is the space we're going to be painting. I don't see a place for water. We're wandering around the property right now trying to figure out where do we find access to water. Without the water, we can't paint. What do we need to do for the water, Jesse? <laughs> we gotta get a hold of Diana and find out how to get the water to where we're working. This is rough to a great start today, aren't we? There's water falling from the sky, but not through the faucets. We need a rain collection system. I see it. The moment of truth. <gasps> we have water. Only a quarter mile away. I'm gonna paint a polar bear and her cub on this wall here. First, I gotta prime it. Ooh, we didn't shake that one. The concrete is just sucking the paint into the depths of the rock. I'll show you the design. This over there. I'm also on my bare feet right now because the ground got my shoes on this. It's like It's about to rain, so we're gonna have to come back tomorrow or the next day, depending on how the weather is. We just got back to the site. The rain washed away all of the progress. It turned this area into a swamp. We're just gonna have to start all over again. I bet I get this whole wall painted with art before Jesse gets that wall over there painted with primer. Now I gotta fix what the rain washed away go back and paint that polar bear. And Jesse, I'm definitely getting this wall painted before he gets his painted. I'm the best. I'm in a tunnel right now, trying to sneak up on Jesse. Oh. Oh. Let's see, he's painting in the background. Oh yeah, I'm definitely finishing this before Jesse. This is like 90% done. His is still probably maybe like 50. <laughs> Time to start the second panel, the wolf and the ram. The first day we spent mostly priming the panels, and then we got rained out for like a week. So the beginning of day two, that looks awesome. I was so excited to get back and be painting. <laughs> Start painting an alligator now. <laughs> There's a, oh. <laughs> this is the method for concrete walls. You can't get it in there. You gotta just do that. 
the alligators and the egrets are friends. Halfway done. This one is the Panther, and Marley painted this one. As you can see, it's very windy. That's kind of how it was. We were in the middle of some sort of vortex. It would be freezing cold in the morning, and then it'd be hot. We'd get sunburnt in the afternoon, but we still managed to find a way to get things done. Why is the lion called the king of the jungle whenever he lives in the desert? We need to put a lioness, some trees, and maybe a source of water somewhere in the background. And we'll be all done with the mural. Ta-da, we got this lioness done. Now it's time to move on and paint the camel. After the camel, we have two murals left. I really love doing these animals with the fur texture on them. Also, adding the river and the trees really helps create a sense of depth. I want people to see it and say, oh my god, that is the best camel I've ever seen in my entire life. Jump on them and glide across. Come on now. Look, like this. Yeah, I'm gonna go like that and fall on my ass. Come on, fall on your ass. Do it for YouTube. I'm gonna paint an orca right next to the polar bear over here. <laughs> I was hesitant at first to paint an orca because all of the other animals were land animals. But after I got it done, the orca was actually most of the kid's favorite. So I'm really glad I took the time to do something different and to step outside of what I normally do because I really love how this one turned out. We're going to be incorporating the APA here. Also, yesterday while Marley was priming it, she ended up getting a little bit of blue mixed in with the primer and it actually created this really cool cloud effect. I thought that was the coolest thing. We're gonna have to cover it all up today though. I'm di God damn it. I can play it here. Get a video play it here. After I was rudely interrupted by FedEx, the mural is done.